I certainly have not felt hostility. I have felt disappointment. I felt a sense of urgency. Uh, but I have certainly not felt any personal hostility. But us Chicanos, the whole time, from the beginning that we entered SMU till the time that we get out, we have this burden of finances and finances, you know. But we've already done a few things. We found some unexpended financial aid m uh, monies that were earmarked for minority students, and I don't think in this day and time it makes any sense to leave that money unexpended, so we've been able to appropriate that. We call for a specific, definite financial packet that explains to Chicanos incoming and Chicanos that we appeal to that this is what you have, this is what's available, here's what you can draw for, and this is what you can rely on, this is what you have to depend on once you're in the university. That's what we're calling for in financial aid. One of the points of our discussion today was not that I hoped the Chicanos would be patient. I, I think it's very hollow to counsel patients. And in fact, I invited them to continue to be impatient, but I did say that it would take a few days and some further consultations with colleagues before I could have any definitive response. We're not going to sit by and accept everything he says. We're not going to sit there and uh, uh, swallow just anything he comes up with. We're, we're going to stick to what we specified in the Plan of Acción because uh, that's a document and it's the priorities that we feel are important. And if we follow those priorities, by themselves specifically, I think that would be a great accomplishment for this university. I'm not prepared now to